wasn't just Rihanna. It wasn't just Aaliyah. It wasn't just Foxy Brown. It was a whole lot of young women around Jay-Z back in the day. But he got a good explanation for that. Oh my God, that I do. Somebody please say it ain't so. Hey, Reggie, hand me those papers over there. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Docs Daily. There's been a lot of young women around Jay-Z back in the day. And people are trying to hold him to the fire. A paternity lawsuit for allegedly fathering a child with a minor. As of February 2024, Jay-Z is involved in a legal battle in New Jersey Supreme Court with an individual named Ramirez Swatterway claiming to be his son. The hunt is on. They got Diddy down for the count. Now they're going after Jay-Z. But Jay-Z got some cards in his deck that's going to make it hard for them to pin anything on him. Now let me give y'all an explanation of what I'm talking about. Memphis Bleak. The bleakest of the Rockefeller entourage. And if you look at the definition, it explains it not. Exposed and barren and often windswept. They kept Bleak around for a reason, and a lot of people never understood why. They didn't have plans on him going platinum. They didn't have plans on him being the man ever since he purse put that G in his hand. The definitions of Bleak, lacking in warmth, life, and kindliness. He's grim. Not hopeful or encouraging. Memphis Bleak was just depressing. And it makes you wonder why did they have him in the entourage? I'll tell you why, man. They had him there. Because he was a young man once upon a time around a bunch of old men. So if there's any questions and allegations and speculations about some young girls being in a circle, well, guess what? They got bleak. And if any of them young chicks got anything to say about Dame or Jay, Bleak was there the whole time. Y'all need to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button. This is all a bunch of alleged allegations and speculations. They're saying that if anybody got anything to say about Jay-Z being with somebody underaged, he had a 15 year old with him ever since the early 90s. So what y'all gonna do about it? Okay, let me show y'all some love real quick. We got the King Cobra is in the building. I see Grace, Dr. Aries Marshall, Lance Hero King Legend, QS, Jason Wildboy kicking it, Tonio, Lady K, Detroit's Finest. What is up? Mob Mommy, Tonio, Miss Charmaine. What it do, baby? Look, King Cobra done joined the channel. Now he about to be blessed forever. Thank you so much, bro, for joining the channel. Lone Wolf is kicking it as well. Everybody watching the video, so much love for y'all. Now let's go ahead and get back into this news, man. Once upon a time, Boosie Badass let the world know exactly how it go in the music industry. So you get pulled over, right? Cops find a weapon. Whose gun is this? Haifa axed Boosie. This shit happened plenty of times. My boy gonna say it's his gun. When they come to the car, Boosie replied. That's what they do. The youngest person in the clique. For all the time around you. People do that several different times in the clique. Whoever not convicted, they just take the charge for the pistol, man. For, for the Boosie know how it go. You got to keep a youngin in your entourage just in case some shit goes crazy. And luckily for Bleed, it never got that crazy for Jay-Z. He was always able to get out of situations. Lucky Luciano. But now it's looking like that luck is running out. And Bleak is going to have to step up to the plate and do something for the big homie that he was meant to do all along. In his personal life. The only crime, the only trouble, the only run in with the law that we know about in the public 
is him getting married to his longtime girlfriend, man. And they had a beautiful ceremony in which Jay-Z was in attendance. He showed up to Bleak's wedding just in case that man had to do him a motherfucking favor. And you wonder why. Out of all the people I'm talking about, Beanie Siegel, the whole state property, Dame Dash, the whole dip set, any and everybody that was associated with Rockefeller had a public falling out with Jay. Except for this one man that never, ever got into it with Jay. Now, this is Memphis Bleak, his beautiful wife, his beautiful wedding. And people thought she was about 12 years old. I mean, a very beautiful bride, but a young bride as well. Jay-Z showed up. And um, yeah, she's hey, she's lovely, but she's very young by the looks of it. Maybe she just looked young. Maybe she's older than bleak, but uh, yeah. And no disrespect to him or his beautiful wife or their union. So I'm gonna get them off the screen. I'm just showing y'all what's going on. This funny behavior that these two got going on. They talking about getting rid of Jay-Z because he got a teen lover. Beyonce and terrified Jay-Z living separate lives after a secret team lover bombshell went off. Rapper Jay-Z has been caught in a shocking sex scandal according to the Radar Online. Exclusively learned his alleged baby mama was just a teen when she got pregnant. What's more, sources told us the revelation broadsided the music mogul's crazy in love wife and has driven their already teetering marriage to the brink of a $1 billion divorce. Not if he got bleak in his pocket. He got to save the day. Dame ain't going to be able to do it. Beanie Siegel ain't going to be able to do it. Kanye got the hell up out of there. He ain't going to be able to provide no assistance with any of this stuff. Y'all need to look at this right fast before we even move on to the next segment because this part of the video was very crucial and y'all need to understand this. Memphis Bleak shared a story. Memphis Bleak shares Jay Z story about them having to pay $5,000 to leave a club in Miami. $5,000. Just to get up out the door and it make you wonder what in the hell they was doing in that club that made the owners and security lock the motherfucking doors and say y'all ain't going nowhere until the cops get here. They held them for ransom. Was it some underage girls in the club? in the club and I don't believe Jay-Z would do anything of the sort he's not R. Kelly he's not Diddy I'm Jay-Z's biggest fan all of these rumors and allegations about him doing stuff he ain't got no business doing they all rumors but one thing for sure Memphis Bleak said they had to pay up 50 G's to get up out that motherfucker because they wouldn't let them go Bleak explained that Hove was a different person than he is now when he had Cristal champagne up in him. And that's the same shit R. Kelly was drinking. Diddy was drinking it. That Cristal had everybody feeling right. Mm -hmm. That Chris style had everybody drinking good and getting drunk. They said that was R. Kelly's favorite drink. And a big old cigar to go along with it. Chris style. The drink of pedos, allegedly. 
He took a big old shot of that crystal, went out there and bought both of them girls some triple D breast. Cause it made him feel good. This was the lean before the lean. They even drank this shit out of pimp cups back in the day. There go R. Kelly with a big ass bottle. Yep. He said Jay-Z was a different man back in the day when he had that Chris style up in him. Oh, he was a motherfucker. A baby. Fucker. I don't know. Allegedly. Yeah. He said Hove was a different person than he is now when he had that crystal champagne up in him. They locked the door on his ass. He had to pay. Or else they was going to do something to them niggas in the club, man. Look at this. Memphis Bleak has recalled the time when the Rockefeller crew had to pay $50,000 just to leave a club while also revealing Jay-Z had no problem fighting his way through problems back in the day. During a conversation with DJ Superstar Jay that set the air on December 6th, Bleak revealed this new information of club goers do not know how to party as he and Jay laid waste to the club scene with their late night outings. According to Bleak, the team partied so hard that they were locked inside a club one time in Miami and were forced to pay $50,000. Just they what was they in there doing who in the hell they was partying with that made them motherfuckers lock the doors and said y'all can't go this is a monstrosity either y'all pay up the money now or we calling TMZ BET to come see this shit. And where the hell did the school bus come from? What the hell is going on? He said, y'all, cause they ain't never been through nothing until you turn the club upside down and they lock you up in that motherfucker. Oh and you have to pay to leave. You ain't really turned up. He continued. We turned this club in Miami upside down, my nigga. They made us pay. But y'all need to hear him say it, man. Y'all need to hear him say it. What was the most craziest situation on tour that you seen? And you was like, I got to get up out of here because this nah. might get crazy. No, no, no. I never. I always was with the shits, man. I was never one to be like, I got to get out of here. But the illest thing I just was telling Huey the other day, it was probably like a week ago, like y'all young niggas ain't never really been through nothing. Yeah. Until you, until you turn the club upside down and they lock you <laughs> in the club and now you have to pay to leave. You ain't really turned up. Well, I, I, what do you mean you have to pay to leave? Yeah, we turned this club man, you up ain't, you in ain't Miami leaving upside parties. down, my nigga. They made us pay 50 grand to leave. Ho, you had to pay 50 racks. Police and everything. They extorted the fuck out of us. Wow. But we cracked heads, faux heads, faces. <laughs> you we did, was going crazy. You did the uh, uh, Bronx tell? Yeah. Uh, now you can't. The, po the police had to reason with these guys. The documentations was too heavy for the cops. The whole Baphomet was up in there, man. And they really didn't want to get their hands dirty. You got all these billionaires in there acting a freaking fool. I'm talking about Diddy, Jermaine Dupree, got them kids with their clothes on backwards, jumping up and down in the club, allegedly. Oh man, okay, y'all need to listen at this. Reg, go ahead and get that set up. Listen at this, y'all. At what age was Foxy Brown signed? I wasn't paying attention to Foxy Brown. But that's I didn't sign Foxy Brown. I know Stop you didn't. I'm me just asking the you question. I'm on the block. I'm responsible for everybody. <laughs> you the boss. That. Yo, be, don't beat around the bush. Say what you want. I'm to just. Say. What do you mean by that question? I was just asking. What do you insinuate? I'm not insinuating. I just asked the question. I, I, I thought Foxy was like 16. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> 
It sounds like you All I'm saying is like in this got, industry so, when we live it in this seems glass like you got, It seems like you got a question for Jay. Ask him. Y'all keep asking me questions. <laughs> Y'all want to ask him because he ain't here. <laughs> ask him. I ain't got shit to do with that, and I don't even know nothing about that. <laughs> playing. You my man. I know not with me. <laughs> when you say that Foxy was 16 when she got signed, why did you say that just now? When I first was introduced to, to who Foxy was, uh -huh. I thought there was something between Foxy and Jay. Oh, you got Jay. But that's the question you're All that don't matter. There is no smoking gun because Jay-Z was with a 15-year-old Foxy Brown back in the day. That's nothing. People make it seem like that's the smoking gun, but it really ain't. And I'm about to share with y'all the reason why that will never stick. Y'all need to quit with those allegations. Quit trying to make something out of this because the more you try, the less is going to be able for you to do it because the truth of the matter is if Foxy Brown was 15, so was Memphis Bleak. Oh my and who's to say that this is the little homie's girlfriend and the little homie put her on? Who's to say her and Bleak wasn't in the same high school? And the big homie wanted to put her on a record. As long as Bleak is in the fold and he not mad and he not ranting and he not telling and he not beefing. Then Hove ain't got nothing to worry about. Y'all could have say anything. You could talk about him being with an underage Aaliyah. Guess what? Bleak was around so if it was a young chick in the Rockefeller camp nine times out of ten look there he go right there I ain't playing there he is and there she is man the backup man whatever y'all want to do if he got the youngin with him guess what she's there for him do y'all understand this because people have been confused for years. Like, what's the point of Memphis Bleak? The bars ain't hitting. The None of that shit. Nobody's really going for that. And they never even really tried to push him like that. But one thing for sure. He been there since the beginning. All the way till now. And they just might have to play that card. If R. Kelly had a young dude with him. 24 7 some dude named um carolina bleak or some shit was r kelly's right hand man's and it's a bunch of young chicks around kelly could easily say that those young girls was around for my man Car carolina bleak or whatever the fuck and y'all would have had to shut it down It's just the truth of the matter, yo. Now we gonna get into this. We gonna talk a little more about this. The, the fuck? Oh my goodness. He, he did what? Oh, hell no. Foxy Brown has stepped forward to address rumors of her dissing her former mentor, Jay-Z. Rumors have been circulating among gossip blogs since last year, alleging that Foxy Brown has been dishing dirt on Jigga, saying that he tutti fruity in the booty and he liked to chase those manny fannies. For the first time, Foxy Brown herself has stepped forward to address the rumors. So the shit got hot for Foxy. And she had to come out and deny a lot of stuff that she was allegedly saying about Jay Z. Oh, the fuck? Oh my Rumor has it that Jay Z gave Foxy Brown a, a disease and took her virginity at 15. There's a rumor that Foxy Brown, whose real name Inga Merchant, revealed that her ticket to rap success 
came at a price and that it all happened while she was underage. She says the man who put her on to the rap game, Jay-Z, then 27 years old, took her cookies when she was just 15, adding Hove, who she says as a horse. <laughs> Jigged the bomb about as big as your arm. <laughs> Damn, that had to be a horrible experience for her. Why would he do her like that? Like you gonna have to handle this, you know what I mean? Oh my I got something for you, shuddy. <laughs> Come on, man. Some somebody, this visual ain't no good, man. Hit that like button and subscribe. To how many people we got in here, man? I gotta check on y'all real quick. Shit just got zesty. The hell is going on tonight, man? Let, let me just holler at the people. What's going on, man? Is y'all still there with me? We got a lot of stuff to go through. We ain't even get into the clips yet. This still the intro. Jerry Haynes, what it do, dog? Long Wolf kicking it. Y'all ain't talking about nothing. Um, y'all ain't talking about nothing. Um, well. Well, ain't that about a bitch? Well, at least y'all here. That's all that matter. You know, y'all could just do whatever y'all got to do. I just want to thank y'all for being here, but y'all ain't talking about. Says something for sure wasn't right with that. You locked in the club and then had to pay 50 G's just to leave. That's some hush money. Exactly, bro. They got caught doing something they wasn't supposed to be doing in the damn club. Uh, They had a whole fifth grader classroom in that club. Man, who knows? It was some weird shit. Had Oompa Loompas running back and forth with no IDs. Said Diddy took the one guy to a gay club in Miami. Shit, I doubt if that was the first time. Oh my Hold on, Baldo Gonzalez done join the blessed ones, man. What it do, bruh? Well, welcome back. Seeing that you got a yellow star. That mean that he came here and left. Well, he's back. So shout out to him, man. Said 50k is more than a bird. Y'all drinking over a kilo's worth of alcohol? Thank you. What in the hell was they really doing? Okay, let's get back into the video, man. I gotta see this, y'all. This oh shit. No, no, we ain't gonna do that part yet. Oh shit, we ain't doing that part neither. Okay. This the part we gonna do. Listen at this. One thing I wanted to ask you about was um, early on, it was like you, Ja, um, and DMX was doing a lot of shows together. Yeah, X, rest in peace, man. The yeah. group, man, X. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. I mean, Ja, my brother, you know. Yeah, you know yeah, how we do, yeah, we yes. roll, man. Early on, early on, how, how was that connecting with, because with, um, that was like your first rap friends, right? was like... Yeah, I believe Jai was Jai was yeah. the first, and then I met X on Hard Knock Life. You know what I mean uh -huh. with Kaiser and all of them. But Jai was the first one. I remember we was at some video shoot for Hov that never even came out. What? Shot the video in Long Island. <clears throat> the video never even came out. I forgot what song it was, but I met Jai probably what ninety six, mm. ninety seven. Right. And we always been clicked since then. Like right. my wife and his wife is mad cool. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. That's it. I always been my dog. Like, you know what I mean? Me and Ja roll hard, man. <laughs> like, that's my nigga, man. And and how was it connected with X early? X, X was wild. From the X, beginning. X was wild. Okay. X was wild. I remember my album release party. I had a party in the tunnel. You know, the tunnel is the wildest New York club. You don't be in there by yourself. You need at least right. six yeah. goons with you. And I mean niggas who on go mode. Yeah. You yeah. X came by itself. <laughs> Dolo with a bottle of Hennessy with some red shit mixed in it. Like, yeah, I bought a bottle of blood for my dog. Like, oh shit. Like, so you know, I always honored that. Like X right. was different. Oh man. He poured dog blood in the Hennessy and went to the tunnel by himself. 
and Bleak said that he was rocking with Ja Rule when he first got on. If Bleak was rocking with Ja Rule and Ja Rule was rocking with Diddy, then what the hell is this all about? Diddy bodyguard claims Diddy allegedly had encounter with rapper Ja Rule with a butt plug. So if this is Diddy's little man, Irv Gotti's little man's, and Memphis Bleak is Jay Z's little man's, and they was running real tight. That was his man's in them back in the day. So what did they have in common? They keep the young boys on the staff. They got to keep the young boys around just in case anything freaky go down, man. You could throw a young boy in the mix when your old ass get tired and them hoes keep on begging. Throw their ass to bleak. And when the police come knocking, wondering why you got these these little ass panties and shit all in your lawn. You can point the finger at Bleak. Look at this, man. Y'all need to see this. Do Memphis Bleak. I mean, ja Rule. Look at look at them back in the day. Look. Like BG and Lil Wayne doing whatever, baby. We do it for baby. They did them like BG and Lil Wayne and Lil Turk. Ain't nothing wrong with kissing. Come on, man. When you kiss the homie, it's the homie you kissing, man. You know that's what gangsters do. You know, I kiss baby. That's what he told me. That's what he wanted. Like, I kissed baby too, you heard me? He had my brainwashed. That was his man's. Hold on, man. Something is real funny about this. You got Jay Z looking like Steve Harvey, Ja Rule looking like Cisco, and Memphis Bleak in the middle holding up a vagina with his nails done. Like, hold up the coach. You want it, we got it. Why booty game? They throw up the big butt. You want it, come get it. The rock. Throw up, throw up a coochie on you. Hey, it is what it is, bro. I'm just saying. And there go the dog. He must be stank. Cause Jay-Z don't look too pleased, man. Jay-Z had to get extra gully every time he got around X. Put on the, the meanest mean mug you ever seen in your life. When he thugging with them goons, man. Hold on, wait, wait a Ja Rule got on this man's shirt. He wearing the chain. He doing extra shit. DMX got three buttons undone. Ja Rule just did about seven of them bitches. Like, damn, man, get this nigga off my dick, man. Everything I do, this nigga want to do it, man. X finally snapped on him for swagger jacking over all them years, man. But that's Negro here nor there. Okay, we got to get back into this, man. Go ahead, pull that clip up. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, play this clip right here. Yep, go ahead, play it. Matter of fact, go back, play that one. Listen at this, y'all. Old records. I'm an artist, uh -huh. so I totally understood. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. And then y'all had an argument. 
<laughs> you already know. This was the illest argument. Yo, everybody on the plane acted sleep, yeah. by the way, right? It was everybody, too. It was mad niggas on the plane. Yeah, everybody was on the plane. We playing spades. You was snoring? We, we smoking like, weed. The no, pilot I'm, I'm, wanted to kick us off. We smoking. Because I'm going to keep it 100. This is the first time party I was plane. on a, yeah, we, a private it's plane. It's the first plane. Where at, water, first, water. where at first, the pilot was like, we cool. Y'all got to smoke till you get to such and such. Like right. that, That's the first time. So I'm up rolling. Everybody else, and Dame said something else to Bleak, and Bleak just stood there. <laughs> and I don't remember if he was rolling, if he was praying. Nah. I don't remember what Bleak I did. I know exactly what it was, you, man, what because was it? I fucked with Dame. He mm -hmm. was my guy, mm -hmm. and it hurt me to see you just didn't see what was going on, mm. and I was trying to tell him. And what, and what do you mean by that? Like, like you know how when you try to, it's like, like I learned something, right? Put mm -hmm. it like this. When a nigga fuck with a bitch, right? Mm -hmm. And he love her. Mm -hmm. Now you tell now you see Shorty fucking with the homie. She wildin'. She wildin'. And you tell him. Mm -hmm. Now he blame you. It's mm -hmm. your fault they broke up. And then he get the herpes. Oh, talking about Aaliyah. Oh my goodness. It's talking about Aaliyah. And how he seen she was on that shady time. When he told Jay about it. Jay took it like it was his fault that they broke up because he the one that told him about it. It was all over a female. A underage R. Kelly OG original survivor. It was over a R. Kelly survivor. And no disrespect to Aaliyah, but uh. One of R. Kelly's first ones was the reason for the split. The build. We got to talk about the build because this is important. When you a man with that much money, with that much ice, with that many chains, it's a bunch of big booty, well-aged women walking around this motherfucker, and they got all different types of degrees. It's women in Georgia that own houses with mounds of ass. And that ain't what he up on. You got women double D'd up, baby. Oh I'm talking about make your eyes pop out your mother head grown ass stallions and you in a position to pick any chick that you want and you find yourself with a, a R. Kelly survivor and no disrespect to Leah but she's the first she the first one to survive R. Kelly she came into the she fell into their blender and fucked up they whole stew. What was what was the practice? Why was she even an item? That they both bickered over. What did she have that made them lose their shit like that? She was already, man, I hate to say this, man, but she was already broken in, man. Oh my goodness. Already seemed like she's ready. She's she been somebody got her ready. And whatever Kelly did, he he trained them right, man. I know that shit sound wrong. She was under R. Kelly's tutelage. Her mentor, literally, her mentor. And these dudes in the club with Diddy pulling her left and right. <sighs> but no matter what you say, no matter what you try to put together, whatever type of conspiracy you trying to make happen, 
it ain't gonna work because Memphis Bleak was with The Rock and he's still with The Rock. And what that got to do with anything? He's a youngin on the set. So if it's a chick that ain't supposed to be there, don't look at Jay, don't look at Dame. Look at Bleak. That's what he was there for, man. Okay, we got to move on. And they need to go ahead and play that. Go ahead, listen. Be lit. Yeah. And it's fucked up like, for him. He don't even yeah. know. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? You told so him. That was the same situation. Right. Like, just mm. without you, the bitch. So like, you was trying to tell him. That my nigga, you moving too fast. You like, wildin'. Because I'm talking to the big homie. I'm hammering mm. through the pipeline. Mm. You know, the streets talk. Mm. And I knew. I seen that. I seen this day coming, my right. nigga. I told all of them. I had a conversation wow. with each and every person. Now, when you say that, who, who, like... I'm talking about Beans, mm, Petey, mm, the Gunners, mm, Freeway, mm, and Dame. And mm. Dame, that conversation was on the plane. But I, I had a one-on-one -on -one with everybody and told niggas, my, I, I see this day coming. He's trying to keep it together. Yeah. You know what Meek, what Bleak's job was? With my alleged allegations, my speculations, the reason why this man was so deep into the fall? Y'all want to know... What I think his job was the whole time. Let me get this together. I think his whole job was, hey, my man, yo, ma, what's up, ma? Yo, let me holla at you. Oh, you getting off the bus? What it do, ma? Oh, okay, you on your way home from school? My man, what's up, my mom? What's up? You know, I'm a little fly nigga. You know, I'm kicking it with Jay-Z tonight. I'm going to the studio with them niggas daming them. You want to roll? My man, what up, ma? You want to roll? As soon as the bus pull up, that's when he pull up. Keep that little nigga fly, get him a chain, you know, get him a little whip, you know, had a little shorties popping. Like, what's the word, Bleak? You know, my, my, in my second grade class, you know. Got them youngest for you. And now that he's old. And he out of the game. He got memories and stories for a day. This man done seen it all. He's like the encyclopedia. For Rockefeller Records. He was there in the very, very beginning, man. And nobody is really trying to take shots at him. Like, because if he flip and start talking his shit, that's going to be the end of everything. Because he knows where all little bodies is buried, man. Y'all got to hear this. Yes. No, he was like, that's why niggas don't fuck with you, game. <laughs> Yo, for me, that's what you heard? That's what he said? Yeah, oh, I, I got more. I, I got more. I like, he, tell him because yeah. like, he was coming at me. And it's like, right. my nigga, I'm with you. I, I ain't remember you supposed to be on this plane. That's exactly what my Bleak nigga, said. My nigga, I'm not supposed to be on this plane. I fuck with Hov and them. I could be right. home on they plane, chilling. Right. Right. I came because I fuck with you. But then he you're trying to that. come at me. And it's like, that. my nigga, when it's over... Niggas ain't right. gonna fuck with you. Damn. Niggas don't fuck with you now. Mm. And Mag, come on, my G. So you He was a spy for Jay-Z. During the breakup. A ninja of Intel. He was cool with Dame. Cool with Jay. During the whole Rockefeller breakup, man. While at the same time. He's talking about, I'm talking to the big homie. The streets is talking. Dane must can feel a snake in his mist. But how in the hell is Dame going to go at Bleak? When Bleak was there. When they had all the groupies. In the beginning. When the shit was safe. Bleak was there in the hotels he know 
who did what with who when and where they said call him stealth bleak ninja bleak they not really trying to play with this man like that but if jay go to fallen best believe bleak gonna take that l bleak is gonna he gonna write that's gonna be his time he gonna have to they let him live a good life with very little production a hell of a life just for being in a circle for what for why people thought he was the janitor they thought he was the one that roll a blunts people was trying to figure out what in the hell or why in the hell you got people like beanie siegel blowing up state property blowing up kanye west diamond selling millions of records they got rid of jazz o like he was nothing. All the people that wasn't making money for Rockefeller, a mill, they let her ass go. But when it come to Bleak, he still got the rock chains around his neck because that young boy was intended to be the fall guy. But fortunately for him and them, they never was in a situation to where somebody would have to take the plunge. And this wouldn't only benefit Jay-Z, but it would also benefit Dame Dash as well. Talking about these secret teenage lover bombshells got Beyonce allegedly ready to jump and get that $1 billion divorce. And these are the type of rumors that's out here, man. How can he explain what happened at the party? Or how was he even in the midst of somebody that was underaged? Well, you do know I got this dude signed to my label and he was only my little homie. I can't help it that he was so young. Cause they not playing. They, they want to see the, they trying to pull some strings to get this man caught up. And I don't want to see it happen at all, man, because they do this to every successful brother out there. I want to see Jay walk off into the sunset and don't have to worry about none of this, man. This look like this could be his twin, man. This young man look just, just like Jay-Z. Beyonce not trying to hear it. She not trying to have this dude come to their house and play with their kids. She don't want that man. But he's saying that when Jay got with his mama, that his mama was underaged. Come on, bruh. Jay-Z's alleged son files new court order forcing the rapper to take the DNAs. You gonna take this motherfucking test. Oh you gonna take it. And Jay, like, I would love to be a dad, young man, but your mama is gonna get me knocked. This boy, 30, Jay-Z must be 80. This boy is 30 years old who has a resemblance to the 24 time Grammy winner said Jay-Z is Papa. If he ain't, somebody need to smack his mama. Hold on, alleges his mother Wanda hooked up with the 53 year old rapper Wanda, an entrepreneur in the early nineties on their on and off again relationship before Jay real name became a global megastar. Wait, wait y'all, wait. Give me a second. Cause we got, I gotta, I gotta sit, man. Y'all just, y'all stay tuned and hit them like buttons. It's gonna be worth the wait. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a 
wait one second. Get it together, Rage. Get it. Oh. Was this song talking about that young man's mother? Song Cry by Jay-Z. Picture all the possibilities. Sounds like a love song. I can't see him coming down my eyes, so I got to make the song cry. Good dude. I know you love me like cooked food, even though a nigga got to move like a crook move. We was together on the block since free lunch. We should have been together having four season brunch. We used to use umbrellas to face the bad weather. So now we travel first class to change the forecast. Never in bunches, just me and you. I loved your point of view cause you held no punches. I still left you for months on end. It's been months since I checked back in. We're somewhere in a small town, somewhere locking them all down. Wood grain, four in the range, armor all down. I cannot stand why you won't, why you want a divorce now. Though I can't let you know it, pride won't let me show it. Pretend to be heroic. That's just one to grow with. But deep inside, a nigga so sick. He said, um, on repeat, the CD of Biggs, me and my bitch watching Bonnie and Clyde pretending to be that shit. Gun empty in your hand saying, let me see that clip. Shopping sprees, pull out your visa quick. A nigga had a very bad credit. You helped me lease that whip. You helped me get the keys to that V.6. We were so happy poor, but when we got rich, when that's when our signals got crossed and we got flipped. Rather mine, I don't know what made me leave that shit. Made me speed that quick. Let me see. Oh, that's it. It was cheese in the whip. Help them bitches get amnesia. He farted and what'd he do? Hold up. Oh my goodness. Did he shit in the car? It had to speed home. Damn. He, <laughs> he had to step on the gas. He squeezed cheese and ran a couple of red lights. Come on, man. He said, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what made me leave that shit. He left it in the car. He didn't even, <laughs> he didn't even clean it out. He said, made me speed that quick. Let me see, that's it. It was the cheese. Helped them bitches get amnesia quick. So the chicks that was in the car, <laughs> when they smelled that shit, they got amnesia. Like, oh my God. What shit is this, man? And they gave him a Grammy for this. <clears throat> he said, I used to cut up they buddies. Now they saying they love me. Used to tell they friends I was ugly and wouldn't touch me. Then I showed up in that dubbed out buggy. And then they got fuzzy and they don't remember that. And I don't remember you. It sounds like he's talking about that boy's mama. Oh my goodness. That's what it sounds like to me, man. He's talking about his mother. He left her. She made, <laughs> she made the song cry, whatever, man. Let's move on, yo. This other shit we got to get into, man. Okay, run that back a little bit. All right, here we go. Talk about Beans, mm. Petey, mm. Gunners, mm. Freeway, mm. and Dang. And mm. Dang, that conversation was on the plane, but I, I had a one-on-one -on -one with everybody and told niggas, man, I, I see this day coming. He was trying to keep it together. Yes. No, he was like, that's why niggas don't fuck with you, Dang. <laughs> Yo, for me, 
That's what you heard? That's what he yeah, said? I got more. I, I got more. I like, he, tell him because yeah. like, he was coming at me. And it's like, right. my nigga, I'm with you. I, I ain't remember you supposed to be on this plane. That's exactly what he said. My Bleak nigga, said. I'm not supposed to be on this plane. I fuck with hoving them. I could be right. home on they plane, chilling. Right. Right. I came because I fuck with you. But then he you're trying to come at me. And it's like, my nigga, when it's over, niggas ain't right. going to fuck with you. Damn. Niggas don't fuck with you now. Mm. And Matt, come on, my G. So you saw that. He saw it coming. You saw that where Dame is at right now. You saw that, like, then? Not, not, not I don't want to say right now, like, I saw that, like, yo, niggas going to be in this situation. Right. Because like, he going through a lot of personal. But what I mean, yeah. like, with the industry doors closed and the bridges mm. burnt, I mm. saw that. Because mm. you talking to major power players. Remember, right. we was around. He flipped on Randy Acker. Randy Acker's here somewhere. Shout out Randy yeah, Acker. shout out Randy you know Acker. I mean? He's my man. Let's make some noise like, for Randy Acker. You know I mean? Damn, industry so fake. Nori. And the drink champs, they doing some girly gossiping and spilling some major tea. Speaking on Dane. <clears throat> Speaking on Jay, speaking on the girl that broke up the whole thing. But at the end of the day, this make them all look suspect. How could someone like Aaliyah cause such a wedge in your empire? It's very elementary, high school shit. Not even high school, elementary. <clears throat> Kindergarten to the first grade, man. A cute little girl that you supposed to be, she's supposed to be my girlfriend. Oh man, she likes me, man. Y'all supposed to be some grown ass men. Acting like they in kindergarten with Aaliyah and couldn't even keep it together. What happened? They supposed to be some grown ass bosses. What about her took them back to the playground? They act like that was their first girl, first crush or some shit. Like they ain't never been with a chick before. They treated Aaliyah like she was they first. Like you slept with my, she took my virginity. Uh, 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 uh. You know I was saving myself for her, Dane. Like, what you talking about? She took my virginity too. Like, what, what, what you mean? You, what, 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 you thought you was the only one that was a virgin? What, you, you thought I was getting girls? I wasn't getting girls before Leah. You know that. You know, it took for Leah to come around for me. Finally, you know, start, you know, having sex. It's exploring my body, Jay. That's all I'm doing. Just exploring my body, man. She the only girl in the world. Somebody make it make sense. But one thing for sure, Memphis Bleak. He was there. And you ain't getting it, Jay. Bleak is going to jump in front of the bullet, man. Oh he going to take the head. As soon as they start shooting, Bleak going to fall out the sky and take all the bullets in the ass. Like, hold me. Hold me, nigga. Oh he land in front of Jay hugging him while them shots are riddling his back. Like, hug me, nigga. Hug me, nigga. Jay just let him drop and run the other way, man. Allegedly. But they saying, and when I say they, I'm talking about the crackheads in the ghetto. They saying that Bleak is going to be the fall guy. Because Rihanna was only, what, 16 years old? And they said Foxy Brown was only six. six. Oh my goodness. And the, the, all the other ones, man. Look at this, man. All these chicks, who we put on? He signed Indianapolis R&B singer Meita to Rock Nation. How old is she? Singing, she 21 years old. She barely, he put a red bone on the label. He did it again. Is she like the new Beyonce? What is she? She. 
Did she drop that ass in the studio or what? He got another baddie. Hold up. She more exotical than Beyonce. He signed her to Rock Nate. She was Solange. They got her. Is she a slave or something? Where in the hell this chick come from? He went and signed the lightest chick in America. Look how light she. He got her with Lil Uzi Ert, Lil Uzi Vert chick. And she a, she a slave for Uzi. Industry whores. He paying for her apartment and everything. He got her living in Tokyo for the low. Better yet, Shanghai. Who is she waiting for in that hotel? Is she a sex worker or an R&B singer? What the type of shit? And no disrespect to this woman. But what is going? What is this? What do she really do? They paying her bills for what? Did Prince authorize this shit? Why is she looking like that? Who got her living the life? They paying her shit and she out there in France. What what is she doing for the Carters? That got her living so luxurious. Explain this to me. Explain it. I need you to explain. Explain this. Explain this to me. To me. To me. What is her purpose? As far as the music industry go. She out in Amsterdam. She not even American. They paint. She just got to report to Delta. Report to Delta. Fly her ass out. Ain't no telling what Beyonce got waiting. I need you to pick up all this shit. Take out the trash, bitch. And mow the lawn. I'm going to be sleep. Cook me some breakfast and feed the kids. What Beyonce got her doing? Or is this Jay-Z's own personal puppet? Where is the music? Her shit sold out. She's selling out in arenas. How come I ain't never heard of her, man? She got her butt butt tooted. She like um bad baby part two. He got her doing slow-mo booty videos. Do her mother know what her parents got to say about this? She barely 21. She a birthday cake? What? What is this, a Valentine's teaser? Did Jay-Z authorize this? What is going on? Is she a booty hole or no? She in the shower waiting to get naked. Okay, that's Negro here. No, we got to move on, man. We got to move on. I don't know. What people doing with their money or how they spend their money as long as they happy. You know, I'm a big Jay-Z fan. So if you thought I did this video to tear my brother down, you got me fucked up because I still listen to Reasonable Doubt on the regular and I like in my lifetime, especially the intro with the primo beat. So, yeah, Jay-Z fan day one. I'm not hating on my brother. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. We got to talk about this real quick. <clears throat> just because it's light don't mean that it's always right, bro. And they found out the hard way. They, they chasing that complexion and not realizing that 
she's the epitome of a hood booger. And um, yeah, that's what happened with Emil. It was they was thinking that she was gonna be suburban preppy, yeah. No. A crack baby. Ooh, I ain't gonna talk about it like that, but you know, she was just a regular degla. They slapped the wig on her. She was in a group with two light skinned chicks and went up to Rockefeller and they picked the light skinned one. She was in a group with two dark skinned chicks. That's what happened. A male, perhaps known, well, I don't want to read too much about her because she ain't that important. And I would really hate to waste my good reading skills on the mill. So let me just cipher through this real quick, man, and see if she's saying anything that's relevant. She says she ain't spoke to Jay in years and she's working at Walmart. And uh, hey, shout out to Emil. Please get her off the screen, bro. Let's just move on. Okay, y'all need to listen at this because Jay Z's former, former friend, before he even became a rapper, I'm talking about somebody Jay Z was in the streets with by the name of D Haven. I know a lot of y'all heard about D Haven. He got out of jail. He was yapping real hard about Jay. Then he fell back for a little bit. Then he came back out barking. Then he fell back. And then he came. D Haven is looking for an angle to get rich off of exposing Jay-Z. Since Jigga did him dirty back in the day when he was the man, when he was Nino Brown and Jay-Z was G Money. He felt like he was Kenneth Supreme McGriff of the Supreme team, man. He did some time. He went, he been through hell. The Haven is mad. Like Jay, remember me with the hammer pants on with the, the gold chains, like let it go. Jay don't want to see this man or hear this. He don't want to have nothing to do with this man. And I don't blame him, but y'all need to hear what he had to say about Memphis bleak. Yo, and God. wreck. Them fam and also me, y'all. We're gonna go into like a lot more details later and shit because I gotta keep going to where I need to go. But um, shout out to Jazzo, man. That's that's a that you did a great interview on uh Mad Hoffa, man. That was that was that was uh dope. Um, I think you got your point across with how things went down with you and this guy, with you and Jay. And my uh the way i see the, the the breakdown of that interview is that you know a lot of people in my box talking about yo everybody's scared to talk about this dude talk about this dude talk about this dude and you kind of you did it on a gentleman level you see what i'm saying like you said what you said on a gentleman level and the nigga got to respect that that's because he was scared to death bro you not about to do no interview talking about Jay-Z in a negative light when they back on good terms. He would never. He got on a shirt that say, I moved. <laughs> Hold on, man. If that's not no pun, he knew they was going to take pictures. What would make Jazzo wear a shirt that say, I move different? Like, just because you see me with him don't mean I did the things that he did. I ain't never did none of the stuff he did. That's why I ain't never go platinum. I ain't never sell a million records because I would never do the shit that they had him doing. He did that. I moved different. I'm the reason why he got blocked. He figured out what the life was like because I was actually going to go that route, but I never did that shit. I didn't go through them doors. I could have sat with them people and did them meetings and went into them parties. I could have did that shit, but I, I didn't want to do that shit. I moved different. I could have been in there with Diddy and the Freak Offs. Clive Davis. I could have. I, I met all those people. They tried. They tried me. But I moved different. We all see that, man. He made sure 
he had that on because this shit, these accusations and all of this stuff going on, talking about these lawsuits and these people, he fathering a child with a minor and it's just bad. Yeah, man. Hold on. That's for this Oh, Jorge shit. Oh, God damn it. He loves first. Let me get that out the way for you. Do about his own maintenance boy I, a baby in pampas running around the hallway everything right that's my sister's bleak's mother is my sister's best friend rest in peace my sister fleet is my sister's best friend so we we in the same building so i consider bleak to be a day one a day one a real day one to a point where jay put on record Bleak don't have to say, do another record or do anything, <laughs> right? Bleak don't have to do anything. Bleak set off for life. Now, we all know that Jay used words and you got to use crafty and what it means and whatever, whatever. But when you tell someone that and you speak it to the world, like, is that just some shit you saying? Just like that La Familia family shit when everybody is fucked up because they really thought it was a family and it's not a family. It's just some selfish solo shit really going on. So, oh, so this all starting to make sense to me. Memphis Bleak was a project, baby. In a building. And he took him under his wing. And you know what? That's a beautiful story, man. The dude running around with the snot nose. He from your building, so he got to represent. And y'all coming up on y'all doing what y'all doing. And he out there, and you know, that's your family because y'all all in the same building. Smell the same fried chicken. Y'all smell the same rice. The same everything, whatever's in the oven, the whole building, y'all smell the same food. Y'all live in the same house in the projects. They took him under their wings. <sighs> While at the same time, Foxy Brown was in the studio making hits, man. And who was her caretaker at the time? And what was, was she a alley cat? Was she just running the streets a runaway or some shit? Like, what's the deal? But one thing for sure, Jay-Z is a professional and I'll never take that from him, man. That's why I'm saying, whatever the arrangement was, I know it was done in a professional manner. And it wasn't no hanky panky going on. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Cause Jigga don't do that. And y'all not about to make him like he R. Kelly, because I assure you he's not. All of his women got class <clears throat> and age. Um, yeah. So don't think this is a bash Jay Z video, cause it's the total opposite. I'm trying to show y'all that this man is innocent. But if shit went down and somebody from the Rockefeller days had to take a hit, I'm just letting y'all know that it's a possibility, allegedly, that Memphis Bleak would be the one. Because he's been talking too much. He don't said too much. And at this point, he don't did too much. Listen at this. Different, man. Like, uh -huh. first day I met X, he got us. I think Ja was the one he told, told the same oh, story. No, Rest in peace, my man Batman, my man Bang. We used to move around and just smoke niggas. But let me, so let me ask you. So when you went to the studio, was the whole song laid out or no? Nah, see, listen. Put us on. And this is the ill shit about even him writing that because how the whole scenario happened. I was on the bench, it's early morning. 
Project Jay was, Vinces? Yeah, Marcy. Jay yeah. coming through the projects. It was him, Clark Kent, and T. Strong from Original Flavor. Mm. So I'm just sitting out there hustling early morning shit, my little bullshit jacks in my pocket. Mm. And I'm like, yo, hove, I get busy, my nigga. And he like, what? This one they used to call me Little Dre, because my brother named Dre. So like, Little Dre, you don't rhyme, man. Get out of here with that bullshit. Mm. So I'm like, nah, I'm telling you, son, I get busy. So mm. Clark was the one like, let me hear some. So I rhyme. And Clark looked at Jay like, yo, he might got some. So Hov mm-hmm. was like, yo, come with me to the crib. Come me upstairs. So we get in the elevator, we go upstairs. He go to his bed, we go in his room. He's in five. 534. Apartment five A. Five A. Okay. Yep. So <clears throat> we go in his back room or whatever. He open the notebook. He rip a piece of paper out the notebook and just hands me the piece of paper. Right in the guard on life, bro. Kill me, dad. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And he said, as fast as you remember this piece of paper is as fast as you be on. No beat, no nothing. So I'm like, I take the piece of paper. First of all, Hove used to write in the smallest <laughs> handwriting so you could barely understand it. <laughs> wow. So I go, I get the piece of paper, leave the crib, fly downstairs to my crib. So I rewrite the rhyme, and I'm spinning it over and over, just saying it in my mind. Probably like an hour tops on guard. Hour tops, I go back. Damn. He spoon fed him in hip hop, man. He went in his room, grabbed a notebook. Man, that make him the goat in my eyes. <clears throat> that make him the goat. He went and grabbed one of his scrolls, ripped out a piece of paper and handed it to Bleak. He said, the faster though you remember this rhyme, the faster you will be in the game. Damn. Oh my goodness. That shit is cold. On some iceberg slim shit in a book. The faster you remember this rhyme, the faster you gonna be on in the game. He took the paper like it was scorching hot. Ran home. Studied the paper like it was a a test. Damn, man, that is crazy. And he got diamonds and shit on his neck all the way to this day. Listen at this, y'all. Back upstairs, they still there. So I'm like, yo, I got it. He was like, you remember the rhyme already? So I'm like, yeah, I got it right now. So he was like, yo, I'm going to play a beat. Let's see if you can rhyme to the beat. So he played the coming to age beat, and I spit the verse to the beat. And uh-huh. we jumped in the car right there, went to Clark Kent crib, and did the song. In Brooklyn. That day, yep. Okay, you just set- settled a lifelong problem, because people said that Hove never wrote before, and you just settled it right now. <laughs> Anyways, man, um, yeah. He, he gave Bleak a job. With so many tr- he handed this man a million dollars worth of game. And he ran with it. But you know, if Bleak was around for all of that time, and they was making all that money together, which they was, from a young man all the way to a grown man they was running with a younger pack man that's justifiable man they was running with some younger people they had younger people in their entourage younger members in their crew And ain't nothing wrong with that. But when you have younger members in your crew, you figure you would attract younger women, man. In your circle. Because unless them young dudes like older women, then y'all can attract somebody auntie to the entourage. Hold on, man. I'm trying to see. Oh, this is what I want to see. Young rappers. 
yeah, 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 yeah. I remember when they came out with the young guns with the lollipop bubblegum rap ringtone shit. And they was just two young guys with the rock. So you bring these dudes on tour. It's going to be a different type of pack running backstage. <clears throat> Them young gun groupies. Shit, they 13 and up. Oh my goodness. And you got one of the young guns that look like Jay. Like, ooh, the younger version of Jay. Like, I need that nigga, man, you know, because they going to think I'm him and he going to think they going to think we each other. Hold on. Look at these young ass chicks in the Young Guns vid video. How old is them girls, man? Hold up. No, go back to the rappers. That was kind of wild. They look like they're about too young to be in the damn music video. This Negro here, no there. They just had to get them young bulls from Philly that probably can't even read or write a record deal because they know that they some head busters. Tour bus smelling like steak and cheese. Oh Hairy beards and horrible accents. Shout out to Philly. What up? Wait a minute. He breaks down the young gun situation with Def Jam. Y'all ain't have a situation. Y'all was the young money for the young chicks. That's all y'all was there for. To attract the young shorties, man. They don't give a damn about your contract. Like, we ain't going older. We going younger. And that's why Dame Dash did something to annoy the shit out of Jay-Z when they was beefing. It was a bad joke. Hold on, look at this, y'all. Jay-Z got jealous when Dame Dash put Cameron on Rockefeller because Cam is young and he was fly. Hold on, look at this, man. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Look. He went out there and signed ODB to rock. He put the rock chain on him. Like, Jay, what you got to say about this? We got old, dirty. This shit, this shit, new cellmate. Oh he poured salt all in the Rockefeller game. Like, you want to be the coolest nigga out there with the coolest nigga. You want to have all this cool shit. How about I sign Old Dirty Bastard to be your label mate? Yup, you on the same label with Old Dirty Bastard, man. Pipe down. That's right. Yup, it's whole ODB. That you on the same lineup with this nigga. That that's your that's your cellmate. A dirty business. Who wanna be, and no disrespect, but who wanna be on the same label? Especially at that time. Damn was being the asshole on purpose and it cost this man his life. Playing with people, putting people in situations just to make a point or just to be spiteful, don't cost this man his life because it was a joke and you didn't plan on making no money with this man. Did that to spite Jay Make it seem like his record label is the projects. He was doing dummy shit because he knew that they was going to screw him over. 
So he just was being a nuisance. He knew his days was uh, getting money was uh, he knew his shit was going to crash. And he was being an asshole in the process. While he was falling, he was being a tyrant and it cost this man his whole entire life. Rest in peace to ODB. He put mo- money in the hands of a man struggling with alcohol (sighs) fresh out of jail tweaking he put cash money in his hand and he went out there and couldn't handle the pressure for ain't never had that much money in his whole entire life he couldn't handle the pressure for one motherfucking second you basically squashed him like a bug. You put all that weight on him and he was weak. He couldn't handle it. Y'all didn't even give him a chance to rehab. And now Quando Rondo, I mean, um, his son is now running the show, man. And, uh, it's a horrible act, you know, but hell, it's a lane and you know, he got to live up to his father's legacy. Uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Hope he don't do nothing stupid. Hopefully he cut those braids. Uh, stop telling people ODB is his father. And that's no disrespect, but damn, bro. We only need one ODB a lifetime, so. But that's Negro here no there. If you ask me personally, Jay-Z is the good guy in the situation when it comes to Dame Dash and the whole Rockefeller thing. I think Jay-Z is the good guy in all of this because Dame, he was a complete mess, man. He did everything wrong, 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 bad dog, bad pit bull dog. They had to spank him and put his ass somewhere. What was he thinking? Some people, you give them an inch, they're going to take a whole mile. He was living like a hog on some Suge Knight shit. Suge Knight, um, Irv Gotti, big headed, slow down for you crash ass niggas. And he was messing with Jay's business, messing with his women. Like, why can't you just let it be peace, man? He wouldn't let it be peace. Cause he hated the fact that Jay was the superstar and he's just a backup dude guy, manager dude that nobody likes. Jay getting all that love and attention and he just a Scrooge behind the scenes yelling at everybody and flipping furniture because he not out on the stage. And Kanye West finessed him but nagled him with a pink with a pink polo on. What was that all about? Oh my goodness. Shit, this that's going to be part two. What in the hell was this all about? Wait a minute, y'all. Let, let me look at this real quick. We got to see this because how did that even happen? How did the zesty man get in good with the boss? Y'all want to know what it was? Dame Dash was looking for somebody that can show up Jay-Z. He was looking for somebody 
that can upstage this man's whole show to make Jay-Z look small. He motivated, encouraged, he put Kanye in position only for Kanye to leave him for Jay-Z. Oh ain't that about a bitch? Now he ain't got no teeth. He out of his mind. Not only did he work with Zesty Kanye with the pink polos, but he also, y'all need to see this man. What was Dame doing with Lee Daniels? Oh my goodness. That's his man's in them. He loved him some Lee Daniels. They would they kick it. Kicking it with a pretty nigga named Lee. Oh my goodness. In the film industry. With the red carpets together, they Dame is out here with this dude named Lee and that's his man's because he liked to do the movie he wanted to get into the movie business so you know he kick it with the movie Al Sharpton then they got into it about some money hold up wait a minute he paid that man You paid that man $2 million. That ain't no money you cough up to just anybody. You paid him $2 million? Wow. What type of relationship was that? To where he can convince you to give him $2 million with lip gloss on his lips. How did he do it, Dame? How did he get the money in the first place, dog? He looked like Jim Jones slash Max B. Is he from the block? Is Lee Daniels from Harlem? He looked like Method Man and Jim Jones and Max B had a baby. You put him in the booth with Math Hoffa, they gonna come up with a classic. He look like Math Hoffa um, and a whole bunch of people put together. Math Hoffa and Jim Jones had a baby. And Dame looked quite smitten by this man. He looked like he proud. He put on a pretty face for the camera. Like, mm hmm. Like, yes. What was he thinking that night? He he put his mouth on the man's roly. Like, I right, don't lick nothing now. Don't be down there licking now. He like, eh. Like, eh. Like, all right, Lee, you doing too much with the roly, man. Like, mm -hmm. why would his mouth even be? They leaving the party. He got his arm around his neck. What in the fuck is this? Are we going to the hotel? Yup, straight to the hotel. Where are they going? It's at night. They drunk. They holding each other up. Where the fuck is they about to go, man? He just out here running them streets with Lee. He show up to the party with this. He got on his tight ass little suit. He just keep on eating at that roly. Like you start with the arm. If he let you get close to the arm, then that, that just let you know. Gotta start somewhere. You don't just go for the bone. I was all over his wrist. He ain't say nothing. He just let me keep on. Yang, yang, yang. I was gagging at that watch. He ain't say nothing. So, you know, I'm just going to keep on licking, 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 licking. 
What in the hell? He left Jay-Z for Lee. Like, you don't need Jay-Z, you got me. Call me Liga Lee, Lee, dance to the mail. Like, when my album coming out? Like, he tried to do the Lenny Kravitz shit. He was working on his album, you know. So that's strike two. Kanye West was able to get a whole career out of Daddy Dame Dash. Not only did Kanye West able to get some money and some fame out of the game, Lee Daniels also finagled some money out of that man. Like, yes, I know you thought I loved you, but I really, you know, just, you know, I'm playing the game, Dame, you know? You the sucker. I ain't no sucker. You thought I was a sucker. Now you the sucker, dang. I know how to play. I know what y'all mean. Y'all in the industry, man. I know you got secrets, man. You, you tried to come out with me, but you know. And Dame looking like, mm -hmm. better have my money, bitch. Better have my money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at his lips. Next to Lee Daniels, like, mm, nigga got my money. I'm gonna hell he get the money. You gave him the money. He'll be rich if he ain't never give Lee Daniels that damn money, man. Just $2 million down the drain. Now you want that money back. You wasn't even asking for the money back before when you had hundreds of millions. Two million dollars is a lot of money, y'all. What was going on? His wife left him. Hold up. Wait a minute, y'all. Dash's exes unite to sue Lee Daniels for the money. They say Dame owes them. Oh, so his exes came together since since he ain't got the money. They going to Lee Daniels to get that money. It was a bad, bad investment into Lee Daniels, bro. And then your life, your wife left you. When she heard about the shit, she probably said, Whoa, what the fuck is going on? Oh you gave money to who? The lead that hold oh, wait, the guy you were at the party with? Damn, you have to explain what the fuck would you oh give the money to lead like is that like something that I need to know? What you talking about? You know you need no. You know you, know, you need no girl. You know it's just, it's just my man's. You know you know just giving the money. You know you know, you know flipping to give it back. It ain't nothing, baby. You know like that was the biggest trick off I ever seen in my life. You ain't never even gave me two million dollars. What did he do for you, Dan? I don't please you. You don't love me. I don't, what, what is it about me? What did that man? What is going on? Damn, what did you, would you give money to Lee Daniels? She went, she went back to the Middle East. Oh my her fine, vanity, beautiful self, man. He, he blew it. Blew it, blew it, blew it. That's the type of girl you look, you look her in her eyes. And with a face like that, she couldn't have took him seriously, man. Like hurry up and get it over with, asshole. Can't wait till I can take every last dime of yours because I hated you since the moment I first met you. I knew you like me because the way I look, which is stupid. Because I don't like the way you look. That's why you're stupid. You see that I'm, I'm beautiful, perfect, and you just want to throw your money on me? Oh I'll, take, I'll take your money. I don't care. I don't like you. I don't love you. I don't need you. I 
to have bastard kids as you want to load the babies. You want Tony Montana? You want babies? Oh no problem. You have to pay for them as well. Hey, whatever, man. Just take the picture with me. You know, you know, make them whole jealous out there. Just shut up. Take the picture with me. Come on, man. Take the picture. That's right. Look who I got. Why are you still in the projects? With the beady bees in the back of your neck. Remember when you ain't want me when you said I was ugly? You remember when remember when you said I was stupid and all that? Oh I'm talking to you, Keisha. Yeah, look who I'm with now. You know, I don't even love her. I just want her to make you mad. <sighs> that's a dynamic, ain't it? But that's how it be. He blew his money on Lee Daniels. And now it's looking like Memphis Bleak is going to have to take the L, man. Because Dame ain't going to fall. <clears throat> when you got a young ass Memphis Bleak in the fold. And he ain't young no more, but if they going back to old school crimes and old school shit and allegations that can get you caught up in the jam, I don't like it. Because when they was doing what they was doing, it was all good. Even though it was never good, but times is different. They can be accused for doing some shit that everybody was doing back in the 80s. Beyonce and the terrified Jay-Z living separate lives. They say he's scared. After a secret teen lover bombshell, Jay-Z is paranoid. This dude keep taking him to trial. Talking about Jay-Z is his dad. They got videos and stuff. It ain't good. He said he's being accused of manipulating female artists and music. Uh, Jay-Z was accused of being a pimp who exploited women. Jaguar Wright says Beyonce is held captive by Jay-Z. It's a lot of ugly stuff in the news about my boy, man. Beyonce and Jay-Z sent defiant response after trolls said they was never in love. Mother of Jay-Z's alleged son reveals purported affair details. Look at this, man. They're saying that she was young. She was a young, young girl. She was 16. And Jay-Z, whose legal name is Sean Carter, was 22 years old. <sighs> Somebody tell her to get out of here, man. Cause Jay got way too much paper for these type of allegations, man. Jay-Z's alleged son, Ramir, is sharing new details about the purported affairs his late mother Wanda had with a rapper in 1992 assigned 2000 ain't, ain't that crazy who remember what happened in 2000 I mean 1992 man didn't house party come out then that was so long ago but it don't matter he could still take the fall today for some madness that happened 30 years ago. It's crazy, man. Look at this, man. In a signed 2015 affidavit given to the Daily Mail by Ramir, Wanda claims that she met Jay-Z, who at the time went by Rock in Philadelphia through her friend, Kalisha Allen. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. So he was out there in Philly calling himself Rock. Wanda claimed she referred to herself as Caramel or Precious at the time. And man, get this biggie biggie out of here, man. Oh my goodness. This some big chick talking about Jay Z, her baby daddy. And she living in Philly? What? <laughs> Wanda claims she referred to herself as Caramel or Precious. Oh At the time, it was a hooker name who reportedly signed the affidavit as an eyewitness uh, was the only person who knew about the alleged encounter. The shit. 
Wanda alleged that she and the Hard Knock Life MC had protected sex, but that the protection broke when she was 16 and Jay-Z was 22 years old. If she don't sit her chat line ass down, that sounds like some shit from the chat line back in the day. You is my baby daddy. The dude on the other end of the phone talking about, no, I ain't. You got three other people talking about, yes, you is. Yes, you is. On the damn chat line. Back in the day. Type of shit. She was calling herself precious for the one night encounter. Or maybe it was what else she said? Disgusting. And he's rolling with his moms. Jay-Z's legal team has denied Wanda's claims. Of course, denied them shits. She sound crazy. Um, and Sean Carter relationship to document, which was signed by a notary public. This is elementary shit. Wanda write these allegations about my relationship with Sean C. Carter. I met Sean Corey Carter. She's calling him by his whole government like she officially his baby mama. Like he she got his baby pictures in her photo album. This is psycho madness, man. Sean Corey Carter in the fall of 1992. And he identifies himself as rock through my friend, Kalisha Allen, who is an eyewitness. Mr. Carter and a friend came to Philadelphia, picked both me and Kalisha around the area of, hold on, wait a minute, they, 24th and Bolton Street in Philadelphia, Wanda recalled. So they swooped down to Philly and picked up some 16 year olds. Oh we gotta take a trip, baby. They swooped down to Philly and swooped up some 16 year olds. According to these ridiculous claims. It's stupid. Why would he do that? The woman claimed that they then all drove to Jay-Z's aunt's apartment in Brooklyn. Get the f out of here. Oh out of all of the females in New York City and New Jersey, they went down to Philly, scooped up two 16 year olds, turned back around and drove all the way back to Brooklyn at his auntie's apart if you got money to go to philly and back you should have enough money to get a hotel or have your own house take a long ass drive to get some 16 year olds just to bring them back to your aunt's house get the out of here Tell me where that makes sense, man. Look at this. She described the building in which the two bedroom apartment was located and recalled what Jay-Z was wearing. Sean was wearing a black wool rich hood jacket and a hat and his hair was in a small afro. Oh my goodness. But once we left his aunt's place, he put on a black leather jacket. So he was smashing cheeks with a short little baby afro. Some young chicks from Philly. She claimed that the group talked, drank, and danced before her girlfriend went off to the room with Sean's friend and now went in the room, other room with him, man. Sean and I did have protected sex, but the protection broke 
And there she, there go Wanda, y'all. There she is right there, man. Show her some love, y'all. Show her some love. Jay-Z is her baby daddy. According to her. She dipped off in the room with him. It went down. Next thing you know, she was pregnant and then had Sean Carter Jr. Man. John John the Don might be his daddy. Oh my goodness. Mark Curry might be his daddy. Steve Harvey might be his daddy. Oh my goodness. Shit. Young Chris from the Young Guns. Anybody could be his damn daddy. Shit, Papoose might be his daddy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, um, Dr. Dre might be his daddy. Come on, man. So this is Jay-Z. She in the nursing home drinking juice. Oh, she passed away. Oh, rest in peace, man. Oh, man. I, I feel so bad. No, switch that up. I feel so bad. Damn. She passed away. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that part. Oh. His mother, she's gone. His little sister, they don't even. Oh, this is a sad story, man. While I was trying to be funny, this ain't nothing funny about this, man. This is a sad story. I do apologize. Rest in peace to his mom. Now all he got left is his dad, man. Oh my goodness. All he got left is his dad. And he gonna make sure they have a relationship. What type of shit, man? These celebrities be going through. Yeah, listen at this. When Bleak say shit like, I had to call someone, you know what I'm saying, to four or five different peoples to get to this, to get to get whatever he needs, whatever, whatever. That is something different. Like, that's something different. And I had this discussion with a friend of mine and me and him, we didn't come to agree with each other because I felt like um, me and me around a billionaire since I've been a kid, since I've been a child, me around a billionaire, um, not even since I've been a child, but I'm just saying me, myself. Everybody got the vapors. Everybody gunning for his head. If they seen it happen to Diddy, they ain't got a doubt in their mind that they could crack the mighty, mighty hove. And all the people that took Diddy down was people that was in his entourage that was doing way too much talking. Before Gene Deal came on the scene, Diddy was good because you ain't had no stories like that out there about him. Gene Deal created a lane with stories and allegations to sway the public to believe things about Diddy that probably wasn't even true, man. Gene Deal single-handedly made it possible for some shit to stick to Diddy. And Keefe D and all them other people with this podcast universe made it possible to have this man be judged by the public. So it only takes a matter of time when they start breaking down these Memphis Bleak interviews and the stuff that he's saying, people going back and doing the math and for the fact that he was even rolling with them, he was a youngin. What type of practices they had going on? 
So, uh, it's not this. Tayo. Yo, listen. Tata? Oh, my fucking God. I don't remember Tata. It's a scene with me and Tata in the movie okay. when he tell me to tell Bean suck my dick. Yo, listen. We probably shot that scene 4,000 times. Because every time I cross the street, yo, my nigga, what's up? What? Yo, niggas would just bust out laughing. Because remember, Tata OG. Yeah. You don't talk to Tata like, yo, what the fuck? Who the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You don't. It's not just certain shit you just don't do it. Then you around a nigga every day. So it was like, come on. Then he got it. So when I got over my part, like, okay, cool. Now, mind you, you know niggas don't be like, yo, suck my dick. Uh. So for him to say that to me, yo, we, yo, the director was done with us. Like, yo, y'all niggas costing us money, man. We running over budget, man. Y'all got to get this scene done with. Yo, that, yo, that scene probably took two days for us to do. No bullshit. <laughs> Weirdo vibes. The fuck type of shit? Oh my goodness. Huh? What type of gargoyle shit is. They said he was a gargoyle. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Oh no. No. What the fuck? Is that Dave Chappelle? <laughs> Dave Chagargoyle. Oh my goodness. Ta ta. Okay. <clears throat> That's the homie. They actually at somebody's house together, so they boys. I don't know why I'm getting Will Smith, Dwayne Martin vibes. What the hell? Why do I get how tall is he? Was he a part of Onyx? There that arm go around the neck. Help me. Y'all got to help me understand. Man. And I know this is blasphemous and this is all for entertainment. Allegations, comedy, satire, goofy shit. You know, so don't don't think I'm trying to be funny. I'm just asking questions. Cause what the fuck? There it go. The infamous arm. I've I've seen it. I've seen it. Seen it. Oh, there it go. The arm. There it go again. It's cuffing. Oh shit. Man. Got the arm got the arm around Swiss. Got the arm around the man's neck. I've seen it before, man. Oh. Always gotta hold it down from gotta wrap that arm. No, and I'm not making no allegations or no comparisons, but you know, it's the home. They've been day one, day one homies. Oh my goodness. But Ty Ty is a goonie, so don't get it twisted. He not no cupcake that Jay been hanging around. He's he's a wild dude from the block that been getting money. And they, they go hard in the whole nine yards. Tim Bowles, you know, that's that's his man's and they've been rocking for a long time. They've been 
He even have her around wifey. That's his man's. <clears throat> you know, I don't know. And what I mean by I don't know is, uh, What is it that Tati, what, what is it that he do? I never got a clear definition of that. What is it that he do? What's his expertise? Uh, what, what is his job description? Y'all wanna know who else is like that? Look at this man. <clears throat> Take the heat off of Jay and Tata for a minute. This is another one, man. What exact is they that his bestie? What exactly do he do? <clears throat> it's hype man, but that what y'all like a group? He always on your arm. Your man's for what? Hey man, that's the dude that he holding down. See, y'all just, y'all, that's what y'all do? Is y'all together or no, man? That's what, and I know that sound like blasphemy. And it is, but they show up, they came with the pink, the pink suits. Even had Tyler creator come over. Like hey, Buster Rhymes, look at my necklace. Like young boy, bring your zesty ass in here. I like your jacket. I used to wear stuff like that back in the day. Now turn around, let me see your trousers, man. Turn, turn around. Okay, I see you with the tight little hoochie daddy pants on and all that. Like Buster Rhymes, I would love for you to be on my album. You know why they call me Buster? Do you know why they call me Buster? You're scaring me, sir. You need to get back. Ah, uh, let me grab them cheeks. I don't know if I want it. Uh, come on, man, the couch right there. He got his nails done. This dude in the cut look like, make up your mind, young man. We sure like to try you. It's crazy, man. <clears throat> dude, he out here. He in the suburbs with a pink car. With a... Somebody need to kick him in his ass. They fighting over the... <laughs> They fighting over the mic. Look, and let me get the mic. No, let me, let me spit on the mic. They take a turn spitting on the mic. Put the whole mic in your mouth. And Buster looking with the evil grin. Like, I like that. I like the way son be spitting. Put the mic to his mouth. Nigga got the, got the yapping. But that's Negro here nor there, man. They just, hey, whatever. Shit, that ain't a three way or four way. I don't know what the hell that is. Just, you put this shit on Pornhub. Niggas is rocking the mics. Look how Buster holding his mic. He holding it by the tip. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. And homie, he just, he got a good grip around the base of that mic. The fuck? And I'm through, man. I'm done. 
that was strange. And everything I said is alleged allegations, man. And I got love for Jay Z. And um, y'all need to see this before I get out of here. Shout out to Wendy Williams. Because I'm having a hard time with these keys. And I'm thinking about you, baby. Pray for Wendy Williams, man. Because speaking of Wendy Williams. Oh, y'all. Wendy Williams alleges Foxy Brown and Jay-Z had a romantical relationship. She hid it before Beyonce. Wow. That's incriminating. Especially if something like this resurfaced and Wendy Williams going through what she going through. I think I got an SAT show. While speaking about the female rapper's upcoming memoir, in a recent episode of the daytime show, uh, she alleged that Foxy Brown and Jay-Z had a romantic relationship. The rapper announced her book. It was the part where Wendy said, uh, they got rid of the video and everything. Uh, she said, uh, Foxy is very open about her life. You know, she's still dealing with her hearing. Uh, the host said, no doubt, but I remember when Foxy and Jay-Z had I'll be Foxy was the star of that speaking on the inside scoop she had about when the two rappers were supposedly an item while throwing a little shade the host continued Jay-Z and Foxy Brown were allegedly a romantical thing all right I'll say alleged but we know we know yeah she hit it before Beyonce allegedly this is not necessarily uh, a book that I will read Wendy concluded about Brown's upcoming read, but this is a book that I would hear on tape. So, according to the streets, according to Wendy Williams, according to a lot of people, it's, it's some shaky grounds. It's some scary, it's a scary situation to be in. You have these type of allegations out there about you. But I'm riding with Jay. I'm I'm rolling with Hova. Regardless of what they saying about him. And not only am I rolling for Hova, but I'm rolling for him and Beyonce. They spreading these rumors saying that they gonna break up, but I wanna see them be together, man. So don't hate me for being a fan. But if anything goes down, Memphis Bleak, you gonna be the one, dog. You gonna be the one they gonna be asking the most questions because you've been there since day one. And for all the people watching, let me show y'all some love real quick before I get up out of here. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all weekend. We got a whole lot of docs daily coming your way. So y'all stay tuned, man. It's only gonna get better, baby. Um, Bruce Rice, Jason Wild Boy, Black Polo, what it do, dog? Holly. Taylor, Princess Diamond, Bywater Beats, and everybody, man. Love Logic, Lady K, Mob Mommy, Uncle Diggity, Neil Taylor, QS, what's up, baby? Sherry Hand, uh, Flyman Hits, and everybody that tuned in and showed me some love. I got so much love for y'all, man. Make sure y'all do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification button as well i would really appreciate that and for the people that hit that cash app let me show y'all some love before i get out of here as well man it's dollar sign sean blaze docs and i really do appreciate y'all Derek rochelle ms ness natasha love lauren gammon humble waters Brittany goodrich and kelly johnson i want to thank y'all so much and for all you beautiful women's out there y'all know I don't like making videos about Jay-Z, but I know a lot of women love Jay-Z, so, and I love a lot of women out there, man. And if you watch my videos, I just gotta let you know. I believe you beautiful, regardless of what you look like. You beautiful to me, baby. That's why I risk my motherfucking life. I, 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 I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations.
temptations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations, girl. I risk my life to give you documentations.